excited to come out and visit with you guys uh, down the stretch here. I think spring is just kicking in for a lot of people, but for us uh, to close out the regular season at home, um, you know, getting a win and a series win against Northwestern was so exciting for us on senior day. Uh, the team's playing some really good softball at home and um, just down the stretch. So we are thrilled to host the Big Ten tournament. Um, I think every kid that ever goes to play in the Big Ten, that's their dream of winning a Big Ten championship. And uh, to get to play at home and with the fan turnout that we've had all year, how tremendous it's been, we've got a pretty excited group of uh, softball players. Questions? Quantify what home field advantage could mean for your team this weekend? You know, I think Wisconsin knows across the board how big it is to have home games. You know, you look at basketball's record at home and football's record and, and just that tradition of winning at home. Um, gosh, we'd love to have more home games just across the board that you're competing across the country with teams putting up 30, 40 home games. And for us to go 10 and 2 at home um, it says a lot, you know. We'd love to have 30 home games. I don't think Mother Nature was going for that. But uh, to play at home in front of our crowd, we've had some of the biggest crowds this year, too. Just a tremendous job by marketing and, and all the fun stuff that happens at Goodman. But I think we've got one of the most beautiful fields in the country. You can go sit on the water and see Picnic Point and watch some softball. It's a pretty good day. How well are you playing right now? Uh, you know, to sweep Nebraska on the road last weekend and take two out of three from Northwestern, that those are both top 30 teams, is a big deal late in the season. Um, especially when you've got a, a freshman pitcher on the mound, Haley Hestekin, who's throwing, and a, a sophomore with Kate Menz, and freshman corners with uh, Taylor Johnson and uh, uh, Lauren Foster. You, we've got some, some seniority up the middle, but when you've got young players like that, it's incredible to do what we've done. So when you win five of your last six, you know, we're, we're pretty happy coaching staff. <laughs> Um, with where you're at right now, like you just said, um, I think a couple of the girls last week I talked to, they said it's been a roller coaster of a season, but they're trying to ride the high as long as they can right now. Um, taking that into uh, this Thursday, how important is that? Uh, it's, it's a big weekend for us. I think, you know, you get down to the home stretch and um, we're on the bubble uh, to, to be a postseason team. And I think that stresses a lot of schools out, a lot of programs. But for us, that we're such a building up and coming program that being on the bubble is really exciting for us. You know, you there's 300 softball teams in the country. And if you're a, a top 40 team, you're doing a pretty darn good job. And um, the fact that we're growing the program and, and have gone to the postseason three of the last five years, I think everybody's chomping at the bit to to, to do what we can to keep it in our hands. But there'll be so much out of our own control that this is kind of our last chance to, to ride it out and, and put our mark out there. Can you explain why Kelsey Jenkins has been so good this year? Uh, KJ has been phenomenal. You know, to have a senior like that, she's hit all four years. So she's a kid that just has been a great player. But last year, we really saw her dig in and uh, develop her game. So she's a kid, you know, a lot of lefties have great opposite field presence and power, and she can hit both sides of the plate. And it took a lot from her to, to be able to do that, to be able to jump on pitches when she wants to, to to swing for the fence when uh, when the game's on the line, and, and she's done that in the last couple series, that she gets her walks, obviously, that she's leading the conference. You know, a conference like ours to be the, the top batting average, top on base percentage kid is an unbelievable thing. And um, But she's so dang clutch, and uh, she invested in it, and it was hard, and she had to take a little step back last year to, to do something that she was uncomfortable with, and it's it's paying off. What does it mean to have a player like her in your program all four years? You know, she started as a freshman and started out really strong, breaking a lot of records and to where she is now. Uh, you know, Kelsey's helped build the program. I think this senior class has got to have a lot of pride that uh, we had back-to-back -back, uh, NCAA tournament appearances right before Kelsey's class entered, and then they had to rebuild. And, um, you know, her freshman year was tough, and it takes a great player and some great leadership to then build it back up. So to see what they've done from their freshman year to last year, you know, going to the postseason, and this year being in the conversation, it, uh, it takes some fabulous players to do that. And I'm just so thrilled as a coach to have a kid that she's a contender for a Big Ten Player of the Year. And when you've got that on your squad, it um, 
gosh, it makes the season fun. So to see her grow her leadership um, and really helping this team have a presence and, and fight in the Big Ten to, to make some noise at the end is, has been really exciting. Do you have the pitching to make a good tournament run here? You know, we're young, but we do. And, and that's fun that Haley Hestekin a year ago was pitching for Kakana High School, getting her team to a state championship on Goodman Diamond. And here you see this, this kid from Wisconsin leading the charge and getting huge wins. You know, Kate Menz is a phenomenal pitcher, and her going down with a broken nose late in the season, I think a lot of teams would have, would have rolled over at that point. And Haley stepped up and threw great, and, and Kate's coming, coming on and coming back. So to have young arms like that on the mound, and you get two Midwest kids kids to doing it, it's, uh, it's pretty thrilling in the conference. What does it mean to, to be hosting the Big Ten tournament here in Madison? Uh, it's a big deal to host. You know, uh, playing in front of your fans is a really big deal. It only happens every 12 years. You know, you got to compete in a conference like ours that there's teams hosting conference tournaments all over the country that didn't make it, didn't even make their one. So to qualify is a big deal to begin with, but then to play in front of your crowd. And, you know, our goal is it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You got to take care of business on Friday. You've got a chance to upset the, the Gophers then on, on Friday, or you take care of business Thursday. You got a chance to play against Minnesota on Friday. Friday and everybody wants to play on Saturday. Championship Saturday in Madison, you know, while graduation's happening, I don't think there's a, a hotter ticket in town.